In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble a Panasonic Lumix TZ or ZS series compact camera so that you can clean the image sensor. The problem of sensor dust is one that's common to basically all compact cameras. This Panasonic TZ18, known as the ZS8 in North America, has big black smudges appearing on all of the images due to dust on the sensor. Most other Panasonic TZ or ZS models are very similar, if not identical, in the way they fit together. So hopefully you'll find this video useful even if you don't have this exact camera model. First you'll need a size double zero Phillips head screwdriver. Before starting, make sure that the camera is powered off and remove the memory card and the battery. Now, on the bottom of the camera, you'll find three Phillips head screws indicated here by the red circles. Remove these screws and put them somewhere safe. Next, on the right side of the camera, either side of the USB port, you'll find two more screws. Remove these as well. And then, on the left side, there are two more screws to be removed. With the screws removed from both sides, you should be able to remove the side panels by inserting something thin into the gap at the bottom and rotating it outwards. The side panels should pop right off. With the side panels gone, you'll see metal prongs on each side that are holding on the front and back of the case. These sit over the screw holes. Beginning with the front, insert a thin pry tool under each of the prongs to unlatch them. Start with the top and then move on to the bottom. Then turn the camera around and do the same on the other side. With that done you should find that the front case comes off fairly easily. Now we can move on to the back case. Again using your thin pry tool insert it under the metal prongs on each side to unlatch them from the case. Then insert it at this point next to the tripod hole on the bottom and you should hear a click as the latch is released and the back case should pop off. Now you should be able to lift up the back case from the camera body. Be very careful when doing this as depending on the camera model, the LCD may still be attached to the motherboard via a flex cable. To release the flex cable, insert your pry tool under the black retaining latch on the connector and flip it up. With the latch in the up position, you should be able to slide the cable backwards out of the connector parallel to the board, releasing it from the PCB. With the LCD removed, we can see the connector more clearly. With the retaining flap in the up position like this, the ribbon cable is free to move. With it flipped down like this, the cable is held in place. Now we need to remove three more screws, indicated here by the red circles, so that we can remove the metal shield covering the back of the lens assembly. With the screws gone, turn the camera sideways and use your pry tool again to free this metal latch from the camera body, and you should be able to lift off the metal shield revealing the back of the sensor assembly underneath. Before removing the sensor assembly, there's a flex cable attaching it to the main board. Just as you did with the LCD flex cable, use a fingernail or your pry tool to rotate the retaining flap upwards and you should then be able to slide the cable backwards out of the socket. Now, to remove the sensor assembly itself, there are three final screws to remove, indicated by the red circles. With these screws removed, you should now be able to lift the sensor assembly up and away from the motherboard and you'll find the sensor itself on the other side, covered by a piece of glass. And we can immediately see just how dirty it is, it's absolutely covered in dust. To see the dust more clearly, you can use a raking light, shining a light sideways at the sensor. This should make the dust easier to see and help you decide whether it's clean. As you can see, in my case, there are several large pieces of debris stuck to the surface of a sensor which explains those big black spots I was seeing on all of my images. To remove the dust, I'm going to be using a Geotos rocket blower. You can find a blower like this on Amazon very cheaply and they're incredibly useful for cleaning dust from sensors and lenses without touching them. Hold the sensor assembly upside down and give it several strong blows of air. 
Holding it upside down like this means that any dust you dislodge falls down due to gravity instead of settling back down onto the sensor. I can see here that most of the dust is gone but there are still a couple of smaller specks stuck to the glass. So I'll give it a few more blows with the rocket blower and look at it again. This time I can see that it's completely clean so it's time to replace it into the camera. But before I do that I'm just going to give the rear lens element a few blows with the rocket blower as well to make sure that it's also free of dust. Now the sensor assembly can be dropped back into place and we can replace the three screws. Slide the ribbon cable back into the socket and close the retaining flap to hold it in place. Now it's time to replace the metal shield. Put it back into place and press down on the side, bottom and top until you hear a click as the latches reattach and then replace the three screws. Now the front case can be replaced. Slide it into place over the lens and press down firmly on each side until the latches reattach. Before the rear cover can be replaced we need to reattach the flex cable for the LCD screen. Make sure that the retaining flap is still in the up position. Slide the end of the cable into the connector making sure that it's in as far as it will go and then close the retaining flap to hold it in place. Finally make sure that this switch on the motherboard is in the up position and the switch on the back of the case is also in the up position so that they fit together when you replace the back case. Press down on the sides and bottom of the back case to reattach the latches and then check that the switch is working properly by moving it up and down to make sure that it clicks. If you look at the inside of the side panels you'll see these plastic tabs either side of the screw hole. These fit inside these hollows on the metal tabs. When replacing them slide them in from the top first and then press down on the bottom until you hear a click. And then you can replace the screws. When replacing the screws turn them anti-clockwise first until you hear a click and then turn them clockwise to tighten them. This ensures that you're finding the existing thread rather than creating a new one of your own. Now all that's left to do is to replace the three screws on the bottom cover and then we can reinsert the battery and power on the camera for testing. Now as we can see all of those black smudges are gone and the image is nice and clean. Here's the image that I took before cleaning and here's after. So that's it, I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. That's it for now, thanks for watching.